funny when a girl tells her story only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Ugh. Ew, this rope is filthy. What are you doing with the climbing rope? Nothing, just moving it. Unrelated, do you know how to tie a noose? Why would I know how to do that? You were in the Girl Scouts? Yeah, we learned how to tie knots to go on boats and shit, not hang ourselves. Well, we're just assuming a whole lot today, aren't we? Hey guys, what's going on? Why is the rope in here? She was just asking me how to tie a noose. And like, did you help her? Should I? Nicole, are you really trying to kill yourself again? Yeah, no? Uh, pick your favorite answer out of those. Why would you help her tie a noose? I didn't! Oh my god, I can't right now. What's her problem? What's your problem? We're not even two weeks back yet, and you're trying to hang yourself with the gym rope. Dude, you have no idea what I had to witness this morning. The Jeffrey kid was doing cartoon voices for Mr. Burliday, and the guy just nodded, telling him he had a future in Hollywood. Like he wasn't joking? Yeah, so now he's just encouraged to go up to us talking like Elmo all day. All right, yeah, I get it. But could you hold off on killing yourself for two more weeks? We're still partners on the lab, remember? Oh, that's your motive for keeping me alive. Yeah, sure, no problem. So, will I see you in science today? About that. Why don't we just go out and do something else? Regardless of whatever you say, I'm not showing up to any class with Jeffrey for the rest of the week. I exerted all that energy to keep you alive and you're still not gonna go? You can come with me if you want. Uh, I'm trying to get into a college after I graduate. Fine, go to science and let Jeffrey do Elmo voice at you. Oh god, where are you even going? This is probably your worst idea yet. What's easier than sitting in the cafeteria? Skipping in school is worse than just actually going to class. There's no TV or alcohol or anything here. Yeah, but is there an ice cream vending machine at home? That shit doesn't even fucking work! No, I think it's working this week. Okay, even if it is, we cut school and eat ice cream all day. What are we, six? I need drugs, Nicole! What, so now if you're six, you can't do drugs anymore? I could be in math right now, staring at the pregnant girl two rows down from me. That would be more entertaining than this. Our school has a pregnant girl? Do I know her? Well, if you haven't seen a kid walking around looking seven months pregnant, then I'm guessing no. Does she have a camera crew from one of those reality shows? No, I don't even think she speaks English. She's like a Salvadorian transfer kid. It's gotta be so weird to be pregnant in school. Oh, all the guys are so mean about it too. They call her Juno to her face. Like, can't you just fuck off and stare at her like a normal person? See, this is gossip. We're having fun. I guess. No fat, balding piece of shit in a polo shirt telling us all oh, wait. Girls, we're on our way to class, right? Fuck. Uh, uh, yeah, we were just getting water for the plants in AP Ecosystems. You're seniors. That class is on the other side of the school. Uh, oh, well, no, the plants are from California, so they only use bottled water. Yeah, and the cafeteria is the closest place with bottled water. I'm going to circle back around in a few minutes, and I hope you'll be off to class by the time I get back. Yeah, of course, no problem. Pedophile. What was that? What the fuck? Oh, no, pedophile. It's a new slang term. I know it sounds like the other thing, but when we say it, it means cool teacher. Huh. If that's the case, being strict is a part of the job, but it is good to be a pedophile every now and then. Oh my god, yeah. Do totally. I love being a pedophile. There's no way he actually fell for that. Why would he say that if he didn't? What if he's trying to trick us into trying it on someone else? There were no witnesses. He could totally do that. Or what if he's just actually a pedophile and wanted an excuse to say it? 
So you don't think he fell for it either? No, I'm just saying that's a more likely possibility if he didn't fall for it. How is that more likely? Think about it. Why would a man want to be a public school teacher other than to have sex with the kids? That makes no sense. Okay, if you're a man, right? You have way more job options, less annoying jobs, but teaching pays like total shit. Yeah? So why would a guy go to college for one of the worst paying jobs and one of the only jobs where a man can be around minors five days a week? Because they like teaching? Then why not a university where they actually pay? Uh, I don't know. Not all male teachers are ugly. It's not like they don't have options. Exactly. Sex with a regular bitch won't do it for him because they want don't tell your parents ass. It's totally fucked up, I know. Nicole, you need SSRIs really badly. What are you two doing? Shit, run. I go out to check on one staff complaint, and of course, I see students skipping. I think we're safe. Safe? Everyone skips here. They're gonna find us. Everyone does not skip here. This particular girl's bathroom? Yeah, because it's right next to the vending machines and emergency exit. It'll be fine, okay? So what's this about me needing SSRIs? Like, you're cool and everything, but you're just like... Fucked up. Ooh, drama. I never knew you guys were dating. What? No, it was something else. What are you guys doing here? Skipping. God damn it. Told you. Maybe you guys could settle a debate for us. Are all male teachers pedophiles? Here? 100% yes. All of them? No way. Kelly, you've never been hit on by a male teacher. Not really. You totally have, Kelly. You're just too dumb to notice it. Bullshit. Remember when you wore a low-cut shirt and the teacher stood over your shoulder for every single math problem? He was just being hopeful. Yeah, then I raised my hand in a sweater. Did he come over? No. See? I never said you were wrong. I just think you're insane for having a blueprint on it. So you guys want to buy some Addies? Are you serious? I told you the other bathroom's better. Are you guys here to buy Adderall? No, we're just getting out of a quiz. Then get the hell out. Tell that to the other girls. They don't have a quiz to skip. We were here first. Yeah, and you guys probably won't even buy Addies or anything. Are you? Well, no, but I know what they won't either. Is anyone here actually going to buy Addies? Let them all know we're here. How much? Twelve a bean. Twelve a pill? Supply and demand, Craven Simone. We gotta pick a new hiding spot. Emily's out of her mind if she thinks she can sell at those prices. Mad you can't afford it? Please, I have three in my Ziploc. I'm fine. Yo, guys, what's good? What are you doing here? Not going to class. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm using my PSP to look at porn on the school's Wi-Fi. You can't just wait till you get home? Just to say I did it, you know. And you can't even talk. You both get fucked up in the middle of class. That could wait till you're home. You do too. You pop perks in front of the teacher. Yeah, that's because I have an actual medical condition, okay? You guys didn't bust your knee up playing lacrosse. Wait, no. If we're all getting fucked up in class, they cancel each other out. Yeah, so you still need to answer why you're looking at titty pics on your Game Boy. It's a PSP, dumbass. Why are you looking at titty pics on your Fisher-Price Blackberry? Yeah, that's a better name for it. Makes it sound official. You have a busy schedule? Yeah, busy telling bitches like you to fuck off. By the way, since we're all skipping, you guys want to, like, fuck around a little bit? You just told us to fuck off, and now you want us to fuck you? You're watching way too much porn if you think that's gonna work. Yeah, we only like being treated like shit when you're creative about it. Yeah, let's see what you got. Shut the fuck up, Jekka, pelican nose ass bitch. My nose is actually perfect. Nice try, though. Yeah, but the way you dress shows you might be insecure and overcompensating for your introverted childhood. Oh my god, see? Now I'm gonna be up all night reading into that. First she'll hate me, then she'll want me. All right, whatever, dude. Tell you what, I'll let you guys have the courtyard, but you gotta pay up in prescriptions, dog. I ran out of Oxy this morning, and I just need something to take the edge off. You called us bitches ten seconds ago, and now you want our drugs? Yeah, bitches need drugs. Can't help ya. Dude, this is so fucking not straight. Come on, I'll throw in five bucks. What the fuck do we do with five bucks? Uh, Okay, fine. Seven. I don't even care what you give me. Just help me out. Oh, your Ziploc. Adderall? What the fuck does Adderall do for knee pain? It's like for focusing. It'll help him focus on something other than his knee pain. Okay, here you go. Sweet, awesome. All right, I'll see you yin-yang bitches later. Is he calling us Asian? Yeah, I don't... Do we look Asian? Last I checked, no. Then where the hell did he come up with that? Do you have one of those Chinese letter ass hats? No, but I actually wanted one in middle school. Did you want to be a stripper? Can a girl just do crazy shit to her body and have it be for herself? If it makes staring in the mirror more fun, go for it. Would you get one? A Chinese ass tat? No. Okay, what if it wasn't Chinese? Just of anything. Mechanical Animals lyrics. I haven't heard that album. It's pretty good. 
Just pretty good? You get a pretty good album tattooed on your ass forever? I'm gonna die before 30. Won't have to deal with it that long. Oh, why would you get married anyway? Shit, the coach is coming. No, wait. I think he's just talking on the phone outside. Y yeah, I'd be mad at OJ if he didn't kill him. Fuck these bitches, man. Does he not know he's still at work? The fuck I gotta meet girls at a bar for? I teach gym. My students are way easier. I don't think he knows anything. See, I can't decide what's more exciting. Cheating on my wife or buying a shotgun and blowing her fucking head off. <laughs> Who could he possibly talk about all this with? Hey, hey, for a pastor, you got a shit ton of fully automatic weapons. I can't listen to this. We need to go. Where? Anywhere but here. Hopefully somewhere that doesn't have a middle-aged pervert screaming about how much he likes killing women. Huh. I might have an idea. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, remember when the Jets had a white quarterback? You really think we should hide in the principal's office? I mean, it's kind of the last place you'd expect to look for kids skipping. That's true, but are we just going to sit here till the bell rings? We go through her drawers and see what's up with her. You're gonna go through her stuff? So not worth it. Would probably just be like pens and folders. I don't think so. No way with her. You think she's smuggling something? All I know is a woman who shows off that much cleavage at work is into some wild shit. I don't disagree, but what? Is she gonna have child porn in there? She's not a man, Jekka, so no. Yeah, that's true. Why do they always bring it to work? That domestically beats me. I have no fucking clue. So what could a female principal possibly have then? I just feel like she'd be into Satan worship, or at the very least have a sex diary. A Miss Lynn's sex diary would be horrifying. She's like our teacher. We say that about Stephen King books. We still read those. Dear diary, hot candle wax hurts so good. No, it'd probably be like a thesaurus of words for good. Yeah, she probably sex with perfect grammar. My husband showed an exquisite exhibition of lust for me. Husband? She would never be married. Marriage is for ugly people. Oh shit. Step aside, girls! There's a perfectly good reason for why we're in here. Sorry, but we'll have to talk about this later. We have a bit of an emergency. Is it a fire? Do we need to go? No, one of the students is having a seizure. Oh my god. Yeah, they really gotta fix that ceiling light flicker. It wasn't the lights. A student had an allergy to something, and now they're having a fatal reaction on the floor. Totally been there. Not a seizure, though. Yes, hello? I have a student who needs immediate medical attention. Medical we think it's a seizure, and we need an ambulance ASAP. Isn't an ambulance ride like $5,000? Yeah, Fat Joe flexes the most on his way to cardiac surgery. What caused it? Yes, he took an unprescribed medication. I, I think he said it was Adderall before he passed out. Oh, fuck. Hold on a sec. What is it? Uh, well... Nothing. We just realized we gotta get to class. See you later, Miss Lynn. Good luck with Kyler. Yes, the front exit is always unlocked. Wait, how did you know it was Kyler? Uh, hold on, guys. I forgot my big gulp jug. Hey, do you know how Kyler passed out? Is he a friend of yours? Not really. Um, he's like my boyfriend. Sorry, girls, but we can only divulge medical information with family members. Family? He's my brother. You said he was your boyfriend. Can he not be both? He shouldn't be both. Will you stop judging her Swedish heritage and just tell us? So, essentially, his body shut down to the point where his lungs are barely functioning. If we didn't get him sooner, he could have lost a lot of brain cells. I didn't know five was a lot. But do you know exactly what caused it? We won't know anything until we get him to the hospital for a toxicology report. Since you're family, would you like to ride along in the ambulance with us? This must be very hard for you. Nah, it's okay. I don't care that much. Um, okay, so if that's it, I have very pressing matters to tend to. Where is my big gulp jug? Are they just gonna wait for him to get that? Yeah, I see Kyler in the back there. They're not driving off. You don't think they can, like, stomach pump the pills and find fingerprints on them, right? No way. I don't think so. Cool. Yeah, I don't care if he dies. I just don't want to be held responsible. Yeah, same. Do you think we should go to class now so this doesn't look suspicious? Yeah, we should change too to screw up his story if he tries snitching on us. Good call. Where are you going? We gotta get our story straight. Crispin? Here. Emily? Uh-huh. Emily? Dude, I'm literally standing in front of you. Just making sure we do it right. Do what right? Taking attendance. Nicole, tardy. The fuck you mean tardy? I'm here. Meaning you're late? Since when are you in charge of that? You're a student like the rest of us. As of last week, not anymore. Miss Teagan made me student teacher while she's off working on a professional stage production. And what makes you so special? I was top of the drama class junior year. We can't have a bad actor teach the class. Well, I don't think you're a good actor either. You probably couldn't even lie to the police. Yeah, honestly. Don't take her side. Why not? She's right. Because I'm your student teacher and I have the power to write you up. 
Any other questions? Has a guy ever killed himself while dating you? <laughs> so anyway, today we'll break up into two separate groups. One will do a table read exercise, the other will be improvised acting. So who wants to do what? I don't want to do anything. The teacher isn't even here. Can't we just hang out? Why would you sign up for drama if you don't even care about acting? It's a fuck around class. Like we're going to be actors one day? Yeah, no offense, Megan, but you're kind of not pretty enough to be in movies. I don't get why you want to act. Acting isn't about looks. It's about talent and creativity. When's the last time you saw an ugly girl star in a movie? Stop calling me ugly. <laughs> no, I'm not calling you ugly. I am. You're just like... Uh... Like what? You look like the girl from Harry Potter, but not photogenic. Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> all right, I'm done with this. Get in your groups or I'm writing all of you up. So just read aloud, but act it out as if you were saying it on stage. Who's playing who? Emily, you'll play the cadet, and Nicole, you'll play the captain. Swell. Uh, what do you think you're doing, young lady? Sorry, I'm just nervous. Like that? Yeah, great. So you guys play out the scene. I'll be back in a bit. Nervous about what? Missing home? I am nervous about dying in a war I didn't start. You better finish it, cadet. Why don't we start loving instead of fighting? This sucks. Yeah, no fight in you, huh? What the fuck is this? I'm back. How you guys doing so far? Decent? Yeah, this script's ass. Who wrote this? I wrote it. It's not ass. It's pretty ass. It's JLo after her second kid ass. Like, you could write a better script. Than this? I totally could. About what? About a girl whose superpower is all her insides are poisonous. So if a guy molests her, his eyes melt out of his head and he dies in a slow, grueling pain. So then he can't deny it. That's good. Why wouldn't you just make it so her superpower avoids getting molested altogether? Who the fuck would want to watch that? Her superpower is nothing happens. Wow, great movie idea. Can you just keep reading? It's for a grade, you know. Whatever. My heart beats to love, not fight. Who the fuck is this for? It reads like the anime cartoons Jeffrey likes. Who's Jeffrey again? He's the weird kid with glasses who draws pictures of girls he has crushes on. Oh, he would like shit like this. Guys, I'm right here. We know. Can you get back to reading? I gotta grade your acting. Oh my god, your heart beats to march, cadet. Hut 1234, hut 1234. Uh, Nicole? What? I'm reading. It's like a drill, sergeant. You read it like one, two, three, four. Do I remotely look like I'm even in the same universe of giving a shit as you are? Besides, we're the ones acting. Creative liberty. Exactly. Whatever, keep going. How can you march for someone else's death? I'll march this foot up your ass, ho. That's not what I wrote. Creative liberty. Acting doesn't work like that. You literally said acting's about creativity. Yeah, so is it about looks again? Maybe we should teach the class. F for the day! Damn, this class is easy. Nicole? Dude, the class is over. What do you want? I just needed to have a little talk with you. About? Your participation today was a little concerning, gonna be honest. Okay. Is that it, or...? You're not getting it. I am your teacher in this class, and you'll treat me as such. This disingenuous attitude isn't gonna fly in my program, got it? Dude, what the fuck ever? I just told you, don't treat me like your classmate. I'm your teacher. Is that how you talk to your teachers? Actually, yeah. Don't lie to me! Oh my god, chill out. If you don't get your shit together, I'm gonna call Miss Tegan and tell her everything. Then she's gonna write you up for in-school suspension. Still think it's all fun and games, Nicole? Yeah, sure. A side note, are you withdrawing from bipolar meds right now? Don't change the subject! We're talking about you and your issues right now! Jesus Christ, okay. Think you can just smirk while Emily calls me an ugly Hermione? I had no part of that. Go ahead! Call me ugly again! No thanks. Uh, can I go? Aw, oh, see, now you get it. Now you're treating me like your teacher. Okay, Megan. It's Miss Megan. Miss Megan, can I get the fuck out of here now? You're excused, sweetie, but work on that foul language. Work on getting a fucking therapist, holy shit. So then she went shut the fuck up over how special color TVs were. Who was this again? The English sub today. She was so old and talkative. At least you can go on your phone, right? That was the worst part. She'd stop her boring story to yell at anyone with their phone out. A sub that won't let you screw around. What a ripoff. I don't know how someone manages to be more boring than the regular shit. Weird. Yeah, I had a sub today too. How'd that go? The drama teacher nominated a student to teach the class while she's out of school. What the fuck? I know, why would she pick a student, right? No, why are you in drama? 
Just a gimme class. Don't worry, I have no intention of being an actor. Good. The drama kids are so fucking annoying. They're all ugly yet somehow think they're gonna be in a movie one day. Yeah, that's pretty much the student teacher, who's a massive bitch, by the way. Do I know her? Do you know Megan? I was in second grade with her. Why is she a bitch? So I'm just doing whatever, not really caring, and then she stops me outside after class and gets super in my face about it. Because you weren't acting good enough? I guess, but she's like, I'm gonna fucking write you up, get you suspended, like all this shit, and I'm just standing there. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. Sense how? She was a tantrum kid in second grade. Every week was a freak out. Once a tantrum kid, always a tantrum kid. Yeah, control freak for real. So you gonna drop the class? Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna drop her ass, though. Aren't you a little old for revenge? Oh, so now you're taking her side? No, no. I support you. I'm just not getting involved. Because you have such a future, right? Apparently more than you. Future or no future, revenge is a dish best served cold. Like pizza. Well, do you seriously eat pizza cold? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Now I know you're out of your fucking mind. Hot pizza is just grease. There's grease in cold pizza. It's just solidified, schizo. Okay, can we talk about this in the courtyard? What for? I prefer to be told I'm crazy outside where it's warm, not in the mental ward-like cafeteria with freezing cold AC vents. Just hold your pizza up to one you'll like it more. And you got the tickets, right? Uh, tickets for what? Oh my god, you really forgot again. The dinner theater? Oh, yeah, I can, like, order those tonight still. Don't bother, I'll do it myself. Sorry, yeah, okay. If you were actually sorry, you wouldn't have fucked it up the first time. Yeah, I'll, I'll try better next time. Stressed out enough teaching this class. Does this bitch just yell at all our students? He's our student, too. What do you mean, student, too? They're dating, you didn't know that? No, but it checks out. I thought it was kind of weird he was the only one in class not making fun of her. I know for a fact he wants out of it, too. He's flirted with, like, three of my friends so far. Not surprising. A bitch like her, I cheat on her, too. She's in that weird category of just barely pretty enough to be super demanding. God, the sex with her must be so bad. I don't even think he's getting that. She was raised Catholic, like, super prudish. Do you just know everything about this bitch? What? I bet I'm round longer. You just hear this shit. All right, don't worry about it. Because I think I have my in. And for what? Megan's life. A boyfriend she isn't fucking is the perfect weakness for me to exploit. This is starting to sound like a red tube video. Ew, I'm not gonna fuck him. Okay, just checking, because every video on there sounds exactly like that. Like what? Like, oh, you killed my parents. I'll show you with the most suffocating blowjob ever captured on video. Dude, how much red tube do you watch? Don't worry about it. Fine, but anyway, me and Hunter share a science class next period. That's convenient. What are you going to do? Let's just say I'm going to order a hot pizza. And wait for it to get cold? You know me so well. And so, that's why I wasn't super broken up when my wife killed herself. Any questions? Jeffrey. Yeah, what's our science lab going to be about today? I meant questions about my wife killing herself. (laughs) Oh. Sorry, no. So for today's lab, we'll be identifying which element is which based on its mass and volume. Get into your groups while I grab the supplies. Oh, my partner's out today. Damn, that sucks. Are you going to be okay? Uh, yeah, I guess, but it's going to be bullshit effort doing it alone. I could partner with you if you want. Really? I thought you hated this class. Well, we're both in drama, so it might help to know each other if we're gonna act. I thought you hated that class, too. I'm warming up to it. But, Nicole, I thought we were lab partners- Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Go away! Oh. Wasn't that kind of harsh? Yesterday, he was telling me about how he kills dogs in his backyard. I can't work with someone like that. Huh. Okay, I guess that was justified. Sit with me. Cool. You don't mind if I look at porn on my phone, do you? Uh, no. Awesome, yeah. It's something I do when I'm bored. That's not TMI, is it? Uh, I'm okay with it, but uh, why do you do it at school? Kind of adds something to it, I don't know. So what are you doing after school? I gotta go to the dentist for a cavity. They always make me gag with all those tools. I hate it. Can't relate. You like the dentist? What? No, I meant gagging. I don't have a gag reflex. Oh, you're so lucky. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I like testing my limits. Oh, you mean like, uh... Yeah, like that. 
But don't worry, I know Megan's your girlfriend. I won't cross any lines, I'm just honest about myself. Uh, Honesty's good, I don't mind it. Sweet, I think we'll get along just fine in drama. By the way, I realized you're technically dating your teacher. Ultimate fantasy, right? Um, I guess so. She's an actor-actor, too. Do you guys ever roleplay? No, can't say we do. I guess she's burned out after acting at school all day, right? Yeah, I guess you could say that. But me personally, I love role-playing. Oh, cool. Well, what are some things you play? You have a girlfriend and you're asking me about my role-playing? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Dude, relax. I'm fucking with you. Honestly, you don't need to worry. I have a sixth sense for relationships, and I can tell Megan's a lot of fun. You can? How fun is she? Okay, don't tell her I told you this, but just based on her personality, I can tell she gives amazing head. Am I right? Uh, your sixth sense might need some work. Oh my god, was I wrong? Is she really bad at it? She doesn't really do any of that. How long have you been dating? A few months now. Wow, I'm really sorry you're in a relationship like that. Do you want my number in case you want to vent or anything? Yeah, okay, I'll punch it in. Now that you mention it, the relationship does feel kind of manipulative sometimes. And that's why I want to be there for you. Because trust me, I know all about manipulative relationships. Okay, so this is a romance improv. We're going to need this to see who's best for our mini-production of Romeo and Juliet. Who's going first? Well, we need a guy and a girl. Hunter, why don't you go first? All right, sure. Now who's going to play the other side? Emily? This is for romance? Yeah, romance improv. No, he's ugly. (laughs) I'll do it. (gasps) Seriously? Yeah, I won't get better if I don't practice, right? Okay, go ahead. What's the scene again? You're about to go to prison for ten years, and this is your last conversation with your girlfriend. Scandalous. This might be the last time we ever talk face to face. Are you sure? You'll beat the case. I know you will. My lawyer said it's not looking good. If I'm lucky, I'll get out in five for good behavior. Well, you're just gonna take that? You're free now, aren't you? What do you mean? Let's run away to Mexico. They won't find you there. I would, but this ankle monitor isn't doing me any favors. Just cut it off. I don't have any scissors. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you're really just going to serve the time? No other options. But what about me? What am I going to do with myself without you? Do you think you can wait for me on the outside? I don't know. All your friends really want to have sex with me. Look, I can't control you from the inside. Just keep me in the dark about it. You're giving up that easy? I thought you loved me. I guess not enough. You're just telling yourself that to feel less bad about missing me. But actions speak louder than words. Whenever you touch me, I know the truth. But but what am I supposed to do? Touch me one more time. Take me to my limit with your last night of freedom and don't ever forget the feeling. Uh, uh, and scene. What? We can't keep going? That's enough, Nicole. Okay, who else wants to try? Maybe a little too scandalous. Emily, do you know where to buy whippets without getting carded? Uh, no, sorry. I don't even do whippets. Damn, because you really look like a girl who does whippets. Oh my god, thank you. A little weird she took that as a compliment. Nicole, I need another talk with you. Shit, I went overboard. Over what? Nothing. So what's the problem this time? Actually, there's no problem at all. I just wanted to let you know I really appreciated the effort today. Seriously? Yeah, your scene with Hunter today showed a lot of passion and actually kind of moved me. It's like you were really trying to make him fall in love with you. It showed a lot of talent. Oh, well, okay, thanks. And Nicole, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for being so hard on you. At first I thought you were just another disingenuous white kid taking drama because it's easy, but you really care. Yeah, I guess. So thanks, I'll see you later, Megan. Uh, Nicole? Yeah? I told you, it's Miss Megan. You know Worldstar Hip Hop? No, what's that? 
It's this video site with nothing but Waffle House fights and butt implants gone wrong. Butt implants? Yeah, I don't get it either, but when they screw it up, it just slides around in their leg. Ew, gross. Do you want to see it? Yeah, but later. I'm texting someone right now. You've been on the phone like all day. Who are you talking to? Little Caesar's cold and ready. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, how's it going with Megan's boyfriend? I'm making some pretty good progress. And so far, I got 10, 11 pictures of his dick so far. God damn, he's desperate. Yeah, but I'm trying to get one with his face in it too so I can prove it's him. Yeah, or else that could be anyone's dick. But what if he's just tricking you with a picture of someone else? Why would a guy carry around 11 angles of someone else's erection? He could be gay. He's definitely not gay. No gay guy would skeet in his mom's jewelry box for me. Uh, why would he do that in his mom's jewelry box? I told him it would really turn me on, and within 90 seconds, he sent a picture of it. You want to see? Ugh. Yes. Look at this. Jesus Christ, it's like filled up. Pearl necklace on a pearl necklace. What's that thing in the bottom corner? That's the head. Ew, uncircumcised! That's disgusting! Get it away! You thought he'd send 11 pics of a photogenic dick? I'm gonna throw up! Uncircumcised men should fucking kill themselves! Maybe that's why you want to include his face. Well, you better figure something out quick before he breaks up with her to go for you. Shit, you're right. Then it wouldn't be cheating anymore. Meaning it wouldn't hurt Megan anymore. Meaning you flirted with this guy for literally nothing. As it stands now, you're technically into him. I cannot let that happen. So, um, do we divide the mass by the volume? Couldn't tell ya. Or maybe we multiply the density by the mass. Dude, I'm failing this class anyway, who gives a shit? Is something bothering you right now? Not really, it's just... Caring about science is for white guys who correct your grammar. Oh, right. Actually, there's sort of been something I've been thinking about lately. Oh, you don't correct my grammar. No, not that. Just us. What about us? I had fun texting last night. Did you not like it? No, I liked it too. It's just... I think about how I feel talking to you and compare it with talking to Megan. And I don't think she actually likes me. What? How so? She just doesn't humor me the way you do. It doesn't feel like she actually loves me. Are you sure? I think you could stick it out a little longer. I could, but I don't really want to. It's no fun being with some bossy prude. If she liked me for me, she would have done something by now. Hey, now, I don't think that's necessarily true. She just needs time, and you gotta be there when she's ready. Even so, though, aren't I cheating on her if I keep this up with you? Keep what up? Like, sending you all those pictures? You mean when you came in your mom's jewelry box? Did anyone need my help over here? Yeah, actually, for the- No, we're fine, just thinking. Okay. Jeffrey, could you draw a better picture of my dead wife? The, yeah, the jewelry box? Yeah, among others. That was really hot, by the way. You really thought so? I, I had another one like that, but I forgot to send it. Another jewelry box? No, it was on my brother's Uno collection. Uh, like- like Uno the restaurant? No, Uno the card game. Oh. H how can you have a collection of Uno? Like all the different versions. NFL Uno, Batman Uno, Simpsons Uno. And you just put them all together and blew a fat load on them? Yeah. And while I was doing it, I was thinking about you and... Oh God, listen to me. What's wrong? We're just having a normal conversation. Megan has no idea we're doing this. It feels kind of messed up. Look, it's perfectly okay. Just think about it like this. Your relationship with her is a long-term romance kind of thing, like dating and whatever. She really loves you, but needs time for the rest of it. Well, yeah, but the time is killing me. And if time's the issue, you just need a friend to kill time with. But what would Megan think? Megan doesn't need to know. If she won't explore your urges, there's nothing wrong with finding someone who will. Besides, it's only cheating if you say you love me. Seriously? Yeah, that's been the rule since forever. As long as we don't kiss and do all that mushy stuff, we can hang out however we want. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I never looked at it like that. That's what I'm here for. So, are you doing anything tonight? Actually, I wanted to invite you to something. For real? What is it? Do you want to go to church with me this Saturday? Megan canceled on me. Uh, I'm sorry, church? Yeah, it's a parking lot function with food and games, but also little ceremonies in the middle to appreciate the Lord. The Lord. 
Like Jesus? Yeah, the one and only. So you snap pictures of your penis while frequenting a church? Yeah, I know, but that's what confession's for, right? And you're gonna tell a priest you came in your mom's jewelry box? Yeah, I'll have to this Sunday, huh? Go on blind and just forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. So you're telling me you blindly say to a guy all the sex shit you did over the week and call him father but not daddy? What? I don't... What do you mean? Sorry, Red Tube. What's... So you want to go? Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Repeat, Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Thank you. Looks like I gotta go. I'll get back to you on that, though. Just let me know by Friday. This is the first time being here is less awkward than where I just was. Nicole, hope I'm not interrupting too much with your class. It was actually the perfect amount of interruption. Regardless, I wouldn't want to knock you off of your newfound drive. Driving where? I meant your effort. Your sudden passion for scholastic participation. Since when? Did you just lie to get me in here? Of course not. You're saying that you haven't gone the extra mile in theater and science lately? Your teachers and both spoke very highly of you. Oh, they have? Yes, they're both very impressed with your sudden initiative when it comes to participating in the classroom. Quite frankly, it's pleasantly surprising to hear, given your prior reputation. As your counselor, it'd be important to know. What's the sudden inspiration? Oh, um, drama and science? Couldn't tell ya. I'm just really smart, I guess. Well, either way... Great to see one of our most beautiful students isn't just a pretty face. What a great opinion to have of a teenage girl. Not to mention a daring fashion sense. You have a knack for turning heads, don't you? Whoa, now you're really flirting. Nothing flirtatious about admiring a creative mind. You picked out such vibrant shorts. They shape you out very nicely. Sorry, I'll try not to show off next time. Nonsense. You're more than welcome to show off in here. Why don't you... Give me a twirl. You're literally 40. Why do you want to see my ass? Now, Nicole, it's not about that. Just to admire you as a whole. Now, go ahead and give me that twirl. Dude, I'm white. There's nothing to see anyway. Can I go now? Oh, now that sounds like a low self-esteem. If I could volunteer a few more compliments... I'm gonna go while I can still voluntarily leave. Bye! I got your text. Sorry, I was caught up. What happened? I was in French, too, and called the weird kid Rugrats Fetish and got held after. Like, Rugrats the cartoon? Yeah. That's a really good diss. I know. Everybody laughed and the teacher made both of us stay after for me to apologize to him. But then after that, I was forced to say three nice things about him. While he was there to his face? Yeah, talk about awk as fuck. That's literally cruel and unusual punishment. What'd you even say? One of them was, you don't smell that bad. Like, I had no idea what to say. Did he get turned on while you did it? Like, think of how often a regular girl would say something nice to him. Was trying to block that out. When he gets home, he's going straight for your Facebook summer photos. Shit, and I forgot my password too. So what were you freaking out about? Megan's boyfriend. I thought she said the counselor was horny. Oh, that's like every week. I'm already over that. But no, her boyfriend is out of his fucking mind. Well, yeah, he sent 11 dick pics for nothing back. No shit. No. He invited me to church this Saturday. Isn't church on Sunday? He's so involved with the church, he goes more than just Sunday. Oh, he's one of those does. Is it really that surprising, though? I didn't think a guy who cheats on his girlfriend and photographs his dick would have a strong relationship with Jesus, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen it. I would so get off to your pictures if it wasn't for my faith in God. Like, okay, thanks. How'd you even get that far with a guy so religious? That's when I found out. Like, what the fuck do I say? I didn't know Jesus was the escrow in titty pics. Who even is Jesus anymore, anyway? Someone pedophiles find to say they're not pedophiles anymore? You think our counselor will ever find Jesus? Yeah, if Jesus is a 15-year-old girl wearing juicy couture. High hopes. So, I guess I'll just go to a really awkward drama class tomorrow. How are you going to tell him no? You just distract him. Hey, so I can't go to church, but you know what I do want to do? You know what I want to do really fucking badly? That was cool. How do you do that? Dude, 90% of dirty talk is just rhetorical questions. So like I warned last week, here's my casting for the school's Romeo and Juliet production. Let's see, for Romeo we have... Wait, they made a play about Romeo? Uh, yeah, Romeo's the lead character. Isn't that Master P's kid? Why'd you take the little out of his name? No, as in Romeo Montague? It's Shakespeare! We studied this all month! So it's not Lil Romeo and Juliet then? Yeah, what the fuck? Enough! So... Playing the part of Romeo is Hunter. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. A little more excitement. Can we applaud the castings? 
Yeah, yay, thanks guys. And playing the role of Juliet will be... Not me, not me, not me. Nicole! Oh, thank God. Seriously? Yeah, you earned it. I know we got off to a rocky start, but your onstage synergy with Hunter has really blown my mind. I can't think of anyone better for the part. I'll text you about rehearsal later tonight, Nicole. Cool, yeah, sure. For a pairing like this, communication is everything. Good luck, you guys. You're gonna need it. Oh, you too. No, I don't want to talk about the fucking script. Just send the shit. What's going on? Nothing. Aw, oh, dude, that does not sound like nothing. Who are you texting? A guy. Whoa, a guy? Is he getting serious? Ew, I'm not having this conversation with you. Is he asking for ass pics or something? Can you not? I can give you the ass pics trump card if you want to know it. Just so you can see it coming if he tries using it. What trump card? Oh, it's real simple. If any girl's holding out on me, I just make it about trust and how I'll kill myself if she doesn't trust me. What? There's no way that works. No, it works like every... Well, not every time, but like 10% of the time. What girl would respond emotionally enough to a suicidal guy begging to jack off to her? Well, you're a sociopath. You don't respond emotionally to anything. You wouldn't get it. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, suit yourself. But in case you fall for it, the light's really good in the bathroom. You're my brother. Yeah? Why would you care about the quality of my ass pics? Uh, no, it's, uh, I gotta go. They had to teach us about ancient Greece in school. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. It's been 45 seconds, asshole. Haven't gotten anywhere on this full body pic. But let's try idiot's way. Do you not trust me? I just want to see you all in one picture because it would be really, really... I got him. Got what? You know what. Blink tickets? They're not even together anymore. The pictures? Oh yeah, for the revenge you're still plotting. How's that going? Let's just say I have the key ingredient. He really sent you a picture with just everything in it? He sent a lot of pictures with everything in it. After the first one, the floodgates just open. Why would he send that many pictures of the same thing over and over? Oh, I had him write different things on himself and some pictures of it. Stuff like loser, Nicole's bitch, Megan's a whore, just cool shit. So that's why you weren't picking up yesterday. Busy with the worst shit imaginable. I don't know. Last night was the closest I got to any sexual gratification in this whole plan. Literally how? It's just some ugly guy writing shit on himself. No, not the visual. Just the raw control felt really awesome. Nicole, that's what rapists say, just so you know. I mean, I guess, but like... I'm a girl, what am I gonna do? Guys will fly off the handle for barely anything. Yeah, guys will not get a Lego set when they're five and 30 years later molest kids over it. Exactly. Now on to the next step. Are you gonna post the pictures online somewhere? No, I think I'm gonna hold on to these until the time is right. And what time is that? Oh, you'll know. I think everyone's gonna know. We're on less than five, guys. Phones off. Let's get it together. Megan's number? Check. Picture of her boyfriend with his weird dick out? Check. Hey, Nicole. Good luck tonight. Good luck to you, too. We got two minutes into the first scene before Megan checked her phone. Honestly, I thought she wouldn't check till intermission. What an amateur. So she ran out on stage in the middle of a Romeo line, yelling out of control and just broke down crying in front of everybody. They were taking videos, laughing. It was pretty fucking cool, actually. Then she had to go to the ER for a panic attack, and that was really fucking cool. Jekka kept asking me why I'd go through rehearsing for a whole play, even though I knew it'd end like that. Well, I had to commit to it, otherwise she was going to see what was up. If I sent the picture as soon as I got it, she'd have time to resolve everything before the play anyway. There's no satisfaction in that. You see these movies where people kill someone for revenge, but it's like, you're going to let them off that easy? I didn't break a single law, and this is like 10 times the payoff. She's going to be mentally fucked for the rest of her life over this, and I just feel good about it. Now Megan's going to end up a cat lady, because any guy she dates will just remind her of me. Remind her what any girl's capable of if you push her far enough.
Hey, you're on time. I'm already so fucking over this. All I said was hi. I wish I was hi. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? <sighs> what is it this time? I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like oxy or morphine or something? They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those pills even look the same? Anyway, so she won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, Mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm gonna miss another day. Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a guy. Can't you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. See, now I feel better. This is why we have friends. We're really white. Uh, oh, guys, what's up? Did I tell you I got an iPhone for my birthday? That's, uh, that's cool. We talked to you, like, once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because, like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Will it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? That's, uh, nah, but, like, there's all these cool apps. Like, I know there's YouTube and stuff, but there's apps where you can, like, shoot guns and pop bubbles and stuff. You mean games? It, it's not even, like, games. It's, it's just apps. Like, there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Is there an app that'll make you fuck off and kill yourself? Um, is that like a choke, or are we... Just go! <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. That alone was way too much in the morning. There's no way I'm getting through these classes. Are you gonna skip again? What choice did he just leave me? I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day, or I'm gonna go insane. Come on, let's go somewhere. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Oh, you're gonna miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. Fine. So where are we even going? Why did we come here if we don't even know what we want to buy? Dude, we're literally in the mall. Just figure it out. Even if I do want something, it's just torture. I have, like, no money. Who said we're buying anything? Just steal the shit. Oh, okay. You think they have MSI stuff here? The band? Yeah, they're all in my shuffle, and they might be in town this Saturday. Oh. Is there a problem? No, I'm just surprised you like MSI, because you're so... normal. Bitch, I could cut myself just as much as you do. I just have better shit to do, okay? That's not how it... Uh, okay, so what are we getting? I want a CD. And a shirt if they have one. It's one or the other. Why can't we steal both? You don't steal twice in the same trip. The only people here is us and some dad buying Skechers. Who do you think the security guy is going to have more fun gawking at? He wouldn't look at us. We're like children skipping school. Oh, those children are so hot. How many men do you need to see outed as sex offenders before you start seeing there's a trend? You know what? Pick for me, Nicole. Lead the way. This place always smells like plastic. Hey, how you guys doing today? Trody? Holy shit, are you skipping too? I dropped out. My mom forced me to get a job. So fucking not straight, I know. Okay, well, wait, how the fuck do you drop out? Uh, it's a lot of paperwork. You thinking about it too? That's okay. Yeah, you're the guy in the PBS commercials they make fun of. Oh, the tiny wallet commercial? Yeah, it's like 80% of dropouts. Like, I don't know, the TV said you suck, so fuck you. Yeah, right. Do you guys get paid eight an hour to go to that bitch idiot school? <laughs> Wow, you thought that would impress us. Yeah, you're dumb, white, and broke. Shut the fuck up, you albacore-eating bitch. Hey, whoa, where's your manager? You can't talk to customers like that. Apologize, wage slave. God damn it, fine, sorry. Good. Now what sizes do you have MSI shirts in right now? The band, uh, I think everything but large. Damn, that's the one size she wears too. Can you check in the back for us? What you see out is what we have, dude. If you don't check right now, I'm gonna tell your manager you didn't say hi to us when we walked in. Fuck, fine. Joke's on you bitches, I'm just gonna go back and pretend to look. Okay, grab the small, let's go. Yeah, I was like, how the fuck do you think I'm a large? Come on. How'd you learn how to do that? What do you mean learn? You can't just take the shit in front of him. Okay, so what's next? Uh, we leave before we get caught? We can't leave now. That was such a rush. Come on, let's go to the food court and steal some Dairy Queen. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> yeah, I guess it'd be pretty hard to jump the counter and fill a cone without spilling it. No, that shit's easy. Why would you risk getting caught over Dairy Queen? Should we try Sarku Japan or would the free samples lady chase after us? Literally anywhere but here. Come on. Oh god, I ate way too much. There's no way we can run out on the check now. How do fat people eat here? It's like pure sodium. Fuck, answer my own question. You wanted the patty melt. Since we're not paying for this either, I figured I'd demo some other part of the menu. It's literally just a burger where your mom forgot to buy buns. Who would voluntarily pay for that? Someone who butters margarine with butter? You think we got Trody fired today? 
I don't know. I don't care either, weird. Most of our friends just get jobs to buy Adderall, but he has to, like, support himself with that. Yeah. Almost like he has to deal with the consequences of his actions or something. Since when do you of all people worry about accountability? I don't worry about it for my actions. I'm too smart for consequences. It's the one time I feel kind of bad for a guy because he can't do any of the stupid money jobs like pole dancing. Yeah, if I was dumb as shit, being a stripper would be awesome. Though I'd feel ripped off because I learned how to read from nothing. What if you're too shy and just work at Hooters? Dude, Hooters is even worse than a club. It's a legalized brothel. What? How? How do you know this? My cousin works at one. She says half the girls blow dudes for like $300 tips and then wonder why they're getting stalked the next week. That's really specific. That really happens. So what's next? I think I want to go back to school now. Dude, you know you're going to end up sitting there bored. I'd rather do that than end up the dick-sucking girl at Hooters. You can just say girl at Hooters. The dick-sucking's implied. Check, please. I'm not even paying for it. Just get up and leave. Strolling in at noon together. You girls had a busy morning. Yeah, you don't know the half of it. Not even a quarter, if we're being honest. Well, the sign-in sheet is on the desk. The unexcused column. I think you know it all too well, Nicole. Unexcused? Yeah, we kind of miss class for very traumatic reasons. Yeah, trauma has to be one of the excused hardies, right? For some reason, I don't believe you. But today, I think that's your problem. Is being a fucking bitch your problem? Nicole! Excuse me? Oh my god, it was the trauma. I'm so sorry. So why don't you both enlighten me to the source of this trauma that's caused absence after absence? Okay, you're gonna want to take a seat. I've heard it all, Nicole. Uh, no, you really haven't heard whatever she's about to tell you. Go on. We just came from the doctor and we, um, we tested positive for HIV. We did? We, we did. And the nurse told us we might be AIDS positive because we went so long without treatment. We won't get the results till later, though. You both went to get tested together at the same place? Yeah. And where was that? Like the... like the Springfield Clinic. And you expect me to just believe this? Shouldn't you? Think about it, Miss Lynn. If you believe us and we're lying, it's just a little prank. But if we're telling the truth and you don't believe us, you're gonna have to explain that to the local news. And we'll have to explain that to the national news. How our principal made us cry while we're literally dying from AIDS. I need to see some documentation, girls. Do you realize the odds? How would you even get HIV in high school? We didn't get it in high school. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but we go to a lot of swinger parties with homeless people. Homeless swinger parties? Yeah. And it's TMI, but I have a unprotected sex fetish, so it all kind of adds up. Yeah, and I have a sex in general fetish. Small world, one of my 30 boyfriends has that too. 30 boyfriends? Oh yeah, when a Dominican construction worker cat calls me, just immediate relationship. Yeah, I love Jekka, but she's a major whore. I don't get paid. So you both got your results for HIV? Did the blood work and everything? Yeah, that's what we said. What's your T-cell count? Uh, I, I don't get it. We don't take shop. You don't take shop? Yeah, they use T-cells in shop class. What's that have to do with AIDS? That's a T-square, Nicole. Fuck! What? No, if you knew, why'd you look at me? I didn't know how much we were supposed to say. How the fuck would I know? You said we had AIDS. It all comes out. And coincidentally, I have a lovely way for you girls to spend your Saturday afternoon. Or you're expelled. This sucks. This really sucks. We're almost set up here, but thank you to everyone for coming to the AIDS Awareness Speaking. We have about 10 guests here with their journeys to share, and we hope you can all learn a lot from them. I could be at the MSI show right now, but now I can't because I listen to you. Oh, don't say that. Don't say we have AIDS when you don't know what the fuck a T-cell is. Like she was supposed to believe you had a Rolodex of 50 guys? It was 30. It was fucking stupid. And she didn't ask about T-cells until after you said that. 30 guys? What are you, a public restroom? Whatever. Why is AIDS such a big deal anyway? Isn't Magic Johnson like the healthiest man on earth? Huh? Magic Johnson? He got AIDS like 20 years ago and he's fine. Who's Magic Johnson? Is that a porn star? I don't think so. My dad talks about him a lot. You don't think your dad could like a male porn star? Nicole, I'm already here. I don't need to also have a crisis over whether my dad's gay or not, okay? Hey, did you get an email quiz from Miss Lynn? 
About the Saturday thing? Yeah, it was almost late filling it out. Like, it wasn't enough for us to just go. She had to know we were there somehow. Yeah, but if she wasn't there, how would she know we're telling the truth? She could record the assembly and play it back later. But then just record the crowd so it shows we went there. Female teachers are fucking insane. It's all about a power trip. And the male teachers? Pedophiles. Pedophiles. How'd you know what I was going to say? I'm noticing a trend. No, vote for Pedro shirts were a trend. The other thing's just forever. Okay, well, I'm going to go to class now. Are you going this time? Why? To not get forced to go to an AIDS assembly again? That didn't happen because we skipped. That happened because we lied about why we skipped. Well, okay. Are you looking for a classroom or another excuse right now? My God, you sound like my mom. Whatever. See you later. Hey, Nicole. You got a minute? I got my whole life ahead of me. Doesn't mean I'll waste it talking to you. Oh, totally. But, I I mean, nah. You see, I was asking around and wondered if you wanted to go to the knife collector show, the expo center. Why the fuck would any girl want to go do that with you? Uh, No, it's not like a date. It's, uh... But yeah, how are you? Are you a human text message? Um, uh... Is that the alert that you're typing? Sorry, it's just kind of hard to talk to you. Good. So what you doing today? I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey, Nicole. You over here too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just like... I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know, these teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no, like, yeah, um... Hey, I like your shirt. Okay. It looks kind of deep. Is there, like, any sort of meaning behind it? Dude, how the fuck should I know? Well, you picked it out, I thought, you know? I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Oh, well, hold up. I'm not really, like, a bad religion fan. I only like maybe, like, four of their albums. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, but, I mean, it's cool that you know about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weekend dad question you could have possibly asked me. What's that mean, exactly? What's going on out here? Torture. Oh, hey, Megan, what's up? I'm just on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, cool. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, it's like mega fucking cool. Is there like a thing with it? Like a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't want to waste your time. No, no, I I got time. I'm hanging out. Dumb fucking bitch. So it was custom made, and it was basically a whole story on my journey with, like, finding myself. They should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. And if he loses, he's got to, like... Take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari, what is it? Wait, what? I didn't... Bitch, do not play this game with me. What game? I was just sitting here talking... Shut the fuck up. What is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. What doesn't? If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. You think their salary determines how smart they are? Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last ten minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Is it like a two-day project or a three-week project? Closer to three weeks. Huh, what's a problem that lasts more than three weeks? Could you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. All right, I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. How would I pitch a game show to Spike TV? You there! Hold it! Here we go. Wait. How could you run this fast? Don't make me call security! Hey, you dropped something. Whoa! That is a shit ton of cocaine. I wonder if it's real. You just wait till I call your parents! Shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh... I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out to the main foyer on the way to the bathroom? What, do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? 
It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, you gonna ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. And as I hope you remembered, today is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. Oh my god. Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously? I guess. You guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help the people who screw us over with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're gonna fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? <laughs> what did I say about the F word in this class? Sorry, bitch. Are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police are here to keep us safe. Is that why I take it's $200? They're keeping my safe, holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. <laughs> All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? My what? Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You've had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who. About that. See, um... I've sort of been going through a lot right now. Of course. Let's hear it. Let's hear another marvelous excuse from Nicole. I've been diagnosed with clinical depression, so I haven't really gotten out of bed much lately. Depression? Yeah. It's from all the PTSD and some other letters. It's that bad? You couldn't at least think of a community service sponsor? Well, I tried a couple times, but when I did, I just started... Cutting myself. <gasps> Why? Um, because I'm a burden on everyone around me, and the community would be better off if I was dead. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. That's really not good. Oh, no. A am I bringing the mood down? Sorry. If anyone has a gun I could borrow, I could just take care of myself now. A gun? <laughs> Shit, I left mine at home today. Oh, my God. Do you need someone to talk to? No, I don't want to bother anybody. Unless it's for a gun I can use to blow my worthless fucking brains out. Oh, no, wait. Okay, Nicole, this is not for the classroom. I think you need to go to the counselor's office. But don't I need a community service sponsor? We can worry about that later. Just go to the counselor. Okay. And, and you're sure you don't want me to kill myself? Because I will if you want me to. I'll fire it right in my mouth. My nose will bleed like the Chocolate River from Willy Wonka. No, please don't kill yourself. Right, Mr. Katz? Well... What the fuck? No, no, we don't want you to kill yourself. Just go. Hose. Oh, Nicole, come in. Your civics teacher told me you'd be visiting. Have a seat. Sure, but I thought these were one-on-one -on -one sessions. What's she doing here? Normally they are. However, I thought I'd try something different, given you're both here for the same reason. What reason? Depression. You bitch! Nicole, I understand you're going through a lot right now, but that's no excuse for lashing out at Ari. Sorry, won't happen again. Not like she did anything to deserve it, right? Ari, using an I statement, please tell Nicole how that made you feel. This'll be good. Um, I feel like you might not be considering my own situation, too. That's very good, thank you. Now, Nicole... Please respond using your own I feel statement. Go ahead. Ari, I feel you're a conniving fucking bitch. How's that? This is going to be a long session. Nicole, wait. What? Need another excuse to steal? No. Well, no, it's just... What if I wasn't making it up? Making what up? At first I went to class thinking I'd lie about the depression, but after talking to the counselor, I'm starting to realize there's something I actually am depressed about. Okay, cool. Talk to him about it. I can't. All right, fine. Fuck off then. Bye. Wait! What is it? It's something about me. Something I really can't let him know or he'll tell my parents. What are you, gay? What? How did you know? I've never told anyone that. Dude, look at your hair dye. You're either gay or colorblind. But are you... 
okay with that? I mean, I wouldn't use that color, but do what you want. Not that. I meant the other thing. Are we in Nebraska now? No one cares if you're gay anymore. Are you sure? This is the most 80s conversation I've ever had. But my cousin in West Virginia is gay. He says it's horrible. It's West Virginia. What the fuck isn't horrible there? So around here, you really think no one will care if I'm gay? Maybe like a weirdo or two, but everybody's going to be like, look at that asshole. We're in a white-ass high school 10 minutes from the Capitol. This is such a non-issue now. But gay marriage isn't legal here. Were you looking to get married? I don't know if I'd ever want to get married. So why do you care? And by the time you do, it'll probably be legal anyway. I'm not that optimistic when it comes to our government. Ari, you're white. You could be triple gay and the government's still going to worry about you. You really think so? Oh, hey, Nicole, you still hanging around out here? Did I tell you that's a cool shirt, by the way? Look, hey, Crispin, you want to hear something about Ari? Oh my god, don't! Ari's gay. She's gay? Yeah, like lesbian gay. Oh, that's cool. Is, is there, like, another part to the story, or...? Go down to the cafeteria. You'll find it there. Oh, it's like a mystery. That's pretty cool. You're so creative inside. All this time, I thought this would be the end of my life. If you lived in Texas, it would be, but this is civilization, dude. Well, I'll see you around somewhere. And thanks a lot, Nicole. I feel kind of free for once. Fuck off, bitch. You still stole my excuse. Now I have to think of a new one. You didn't start depression, Nicole. I never said that, but I started using depression as an excuse at that school. No one was doing that before me, and now that she took it, everybody's gonna water it down. Do you feel like you're getting to a point where the excuses for not doing homework are more effort than the homework itself? I don't know, hold on. What's another mental disorder I could pull off? Quite a few. Yeah, but whatever I pick, I'll need to research at least a little, right? No, you don't. Mental illnesses are like horoscopes. You just look up symptoms that loosely fit your personality. Holy shit, where's my laptop? Oh, wait! Schizophrenia, good choice. No, I forgot to tell you what happened after the counselor. Ari came out of the closet to me in the middle of the hallway. Closet with a glass door? I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, that's what I said. She thought it was like this huge deal. Well, wouldn't it be? What if someone homophobic knew? Yeah, who? I don't know anyone at our school who wouldn't vote for Obama. Holy shit, I can't think of anyone either. This area is like so Democrat, you're just preaching to the choir. Yeah, no, last year this gay guy sat at our table and was immediately the most popular person there. Because he was gay or... I mean, kinda. He quoted Amanda's show a lot, I guess he was funny. And no one gave him shit or anything? I mean, Kyler came up to us, but everyone was like, what's his problem? That's exactly what I told her. Well, as long as she's happy, like, whatever, right? I'm so happy for her. So happy I have to see her ass every week with the counselor now. And I wanted to say, Ari, how proud I am that you've been able to come to terms with your sexual orientation and openly share it with the rest of your peers. Thanks, it's just kind of liberating to tell someone I'm gay, you know? Every chance you get. Truthfully, you are so brave. Liberal high school, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Everyone's been so supportive. I can't believe there was a time when being gay was so hated. You believed it last week. Yes, yes. Times have certainly changed. Isn't this supposed to be a group therapy? Is there something you'd like to add, Nicole? Just thought it'd be worth the time to spotlight the progress we've made as a society. Though we still have a very long way to go in terms of sexual identity and acceptance. What's left to accept? Transsexuals, for one. But also the rather silly notion of controlling other petty qualities of our partners beyond gender. Financial background, race, religion, and even age. Here we fucking go. Age? Why would someone have a problem with age if they're legal? But isn't that the problem? Letting legality control love? The state law says you can't marry another girl, but does that mean it's wrong for you to love her? No, but I'm pretty sure age is one we, you know... Society creates laws, but laws didn't create society. I hope both of you girls realize we should never be critical of anyone's preference regardless of what your parents or TV says. Like gender, age is just another thing on your driver's license. Um, how do you feel about that, Nicole? Do you have an I feel statement? I feel like he wants to fuck children. Yeah, but that's not true, right, Counselor? Like, you wouldn't date a 15-year-old, right? Would you date a 15-year-old? Maybe, but I'm only 17, so it's not illegal? I just said, going by legality means you'd be in the wrong, too. 
Did you say in the wrong too? As in you would date a 15 year old? I never said that. I'm merely open-minded enough to not doubt the romantic value of anyone of any age. You're trying to sell a teenage girl on pedophilia using her own gayness as leverage. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Fuck your therapy, tennis pedophile love 15 looking bitch. Let her go, Ari. She's just having a personal moment and needs her space. Uh, okay. By the way, I didn't want to make Nicole jealous, but your hair looks absolutely beautiful today. Actually, I'm gonna go check on her to make sure she doesn't, uh, kill herself. Nicole, wait. Wasn't walking. That wasn't, like, a normal thing, was it? No, him campaigning for that is a pretty normal thing around here. You didn't know? Not that. I meant you sticking up for someone like that. I never really seen you do that. Sticking up for who? Me. Okay. I... I really appreciate it. Uh-huh. This is... Um... Oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. Kinda is. Nicole, I've, um... Since we started doing this group counseling together, I've actually kind of been thinking a lot about you. But not in a weird way, right? No, it's... It's in a weird way. Oh my god. I really, really like you. I'm sorry. It's just you were the first person I came out to and what you said in there and your whole look. And I think I'm in love with you. In love with someone you know for two weeks. Yeah, you're real stable. You're not like all sketched out now, are you? A little, but it's not like you're a man saying this. How is it different with a man? Men kind of have a tendency to rape and murder. I'm not sure if you've seen a TV in the last forever. Oh god, that reminds me. I never even asked you. Ask me why. You, um... Do you like girls, too? Do you want me to? Y yeah How badly? Extremely. No pressure, but I might cut if you say no. Where do you cut? On my upper thighs so my parents don't see. Damn, that's actually kind of hot. It is? Yeah, because you look too normal to cut, so it's like a fun surprise. Are you messing with me? No, seriously, it's like a cheerleader with a nipple piercing. Ooh, wild side. Really? Do you cut too? Duh, but it's not hot when I do it. It's like, look at that trashy hoe, I bet she cuts herself. I don't think you're trashy. I don't think I should have an F in gym. Shit happens, though. So, if you think I am hot, would you want to start dating? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll try it. <gasps> really? It'd be really funny if I said no right now. Please don't do that to me. No, okay, I'll do it. You have a car to take us out? Yeah, my mom's old Camry, and only three of the windows are broken. Does it have power seats? No, they're just manual. Ugh. Oh, but I could borrow my dad's Lexus if it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Okay, I'll see you after school. I love you. Bye. Why'd you take me to a bookstore? It's like the library, but all the books are new. Do I look like a bitch who reads? Not even Harry Potter? It's like coming of age relatable and stuff. There's no Percocet in Harry Potter. How's it relatable? Hey, Nicole. Didn't know you read here, too. We had to stop in the graphic novel section. Do you know him? Not really, but I'll take care of it. So are you reading some manga with your friend there? Oh, she's not my friend. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? But you're... Hold on! Do you have a problem with two lesbians going to a bookstore as opposed to literally anything else? Th though it's good to be yourself. You guys are just a little different, like me. We are nothing like you. And why's that? Because while you're beating off to your little anime book, we're gonna get fucked up on whippets and make out. Hey, that was completely uncalled for! Wow, don't freak out when someone makes up a joke about you. It'll make people think it's real. But I have done that to my manga. She shouldn't act like it's wrong, though. Oh, God. Shouldn't have helped him. I've seen him around before. I didn't know he was fucked up like that. By the way, I started a YouTube channel. Y you guys want to see it? No, we gotta go by Whippets. I never tried Whippets. Do they taste bad? And then the counselor got so weird, he called my mom and told her I might have schizophrenia if I ever mentioned he was a pedophile. 
And what'd your mom say? She believed him. We had like an hour long fight over it. Right, honey? Right, honey? Dude, I said don't call me that in public. Oh, I thought it was don't say it in private. If I didn't want it in private, why would I want it in public? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to your boundaries and everything. Boundaries? I didn't know you're dating a marriage counselor. What's up, queers? Nicole. Dude, she's not gonna do anything. Heard you guys were dating now. What are you, special or something? Why do you care? It's hard to hose like you always looking for attention. Find one other person in this room who cares. No one's falling for this bullshit like you think they are. Hey, Hunter. What's up? They're saying they're gay now. That's fucking dumb, right? Uh, Obama might be president soon. Who's worried about being gay anymore? Dude, fuck Obama. He's a bitch. My dad's voting for McCain. Why would he vote for McCain? He's a fucking war hero. Maybe then we'll nut up and nuke the Middle East. Oh. Well, sorry, dude, but your dad sounds really fucking gay voting for McCain. What? No, no, you're gay! Eventful. Thanks for taking care of that, Nicole. No problem. Hey, could you go to the longest pizza line and get me four slices? Yeah, sure, anything. Okay. Why aren't you going? You won't kiss me on the cheek first? Oh my god. Mwah. Okay, I'll be right back! Ugh, disgusting. What, are you straight again? No, I have dollar store foundation on my lips now. Ugh, this could double as baby formula in Pakistan. She's your girlfriend. So? So take your bitch to Ulta. No, already trying to limit the exposure. That's why I sent her to the pizza line. But you haven't even dated for a week yet. Fucked up, right? Did she do something wrong? She just gets really awkward when you're around her for long enough. Awkward how? Okay, so she was in my room while I was changing real quick. Then she saw one nipple for like a second and was all, oh my god, I'm sorry I look, but you're so sexy, you're so sexy, I'm so lucky to have you, like, bitch, fuck off. I've seen her with guys before, I don't know why she's acting like such a virgin. She's probably just a virgin with girls, it's like a higher echelon. But if she's so gay, why was she even with guys in the first place? Because hooking up with a guy is the easiest thing on earth. Even if a girl's gay, she's gonna try it at least once or nine times. Wait, so first time you're curious, second time you're bored, and ninth time you're just trying to keep the lights on. And I just want to say how cool it is that you guys are so open about this. Right? Yeah. I kissed a girl at a party once, and I totally get the appeal. Lesbianism is just so, so bold. Have you thought about, like, going full time with it? You mean, like, gay married? Yeah. Fuck that. Then I wouldn't have a rich husband. Isn't there more to a relationship than money, though? Maybe. I see you guys ride around in that beat-up Camry, and it's cute. But I'd never cuff a broke bitch. Can you believe her? Yeah, these by curious hoes, fuck them. By the way, did you wanna- Hold on, I'm replying to something. Okay. Are you done? No, shut up, hold on. Nicole, I, I don't really like it when you tell me to shut Just up. Just fuck up, okay? Maybe quit the box die, it's fucking your brain up. <gasps> oh shit. I, um... Hey, listen, uh... I'm really sorry for not respecting your boundaries. I promise it won't happen again. Oh. What? I was totally in the wrong. You had every right to say that. Well, as long as you're sorry, you dumb bitch. I know I'm a dumb bitch. I'm sorry. I love you. I think I'm starting to love you too. You guys see the new Smallville? Dude, Smallville's for straight people. Who watches that shit? You were straight three weeks ago. Yeah, and I didn't watch it then either. Guess it's just universally bad. I saw a couple episodes once. It was okay. Was anyone asking you? Um, no. Just checking. Anyway, I was gonna buy lunch today, but the lines are like so long. It's probably spicy chicken sandwich day. Oh, and I want one. Me too. Ari, get us the chicken sandwiches. I'll pay you back. But the line's gonna take forever. Can we just- Don't you love me? <sighs> okay, I'll go. Cool. Yeah, and get me two if they have enough. They're big. You gonna eat two? One for now, one for when I'm depressed. All right, you got all that? Be right back. You're forgetting something. Oh, right. Sorry. Mwah. Good girl. Don't make me ask again. I know. I love you. That's nice. What the fuck? I know. What's her problem, right? No, what the fuck did you do to her? She's like your pet now. Yeah, so you know how I wanted out of the relationship? What I thought would be more fun than breaking up was just seeing what I could get away with. Get away with what? Dude, like everything so far. I'll literally call her a bitch to her face and she'll just apologize and kiss me on the cheek. It's such a power trip. Uh, it sounds like abuse. I get that. But honestly, if it is, abusing feels fucking awesome. Don't knock it till you try it. 
Yeah, but you know why you're getting away with it, right? Oh, let's hear this. Because you're her only option. So you're taking advantage of the fact the only lesbian in school knows there aren't any other lesbians to date here. She's basically stuck with whatever you want to put her through. She can break up anytime she wants. She's not stuck with anything. Okay, so she breaks up to move on to who? The only girl willing to date her is her abusive ex-girlfriend. And? No offense, but you're like an evil fucking bitch. No, okay. If you're so high and mighty about it, why don't you tell her everything you just told me? The dynamic, the game, everything. I don't know her like that. Awkward, ew. If only life was like TV, where friends spill their hearts out to people they barely know. You probably don't even watch anything good. You watch Smallville. You're evil. You're friends with someone who's evil. You're friends with someone who watches Smallville. Holy shit, don't say it that loud. Again, I apologize for the misunderstanding we had last time the two of you came in here. I would never want to be mistaken for an abuser. I can assure you that. Uh Uh-huh. Abuser? Yes, anyway. Nicole! It's been a while since we've chatted. What's going on with you? What's going on with me? Yes, if you'd care to share with us. What the hell do I say to that? A variety of things. You could speak about what you did over the weekend, or something that's caught your interest lately. Ari and I are here to listen. Okay, well, I heard Kanye West just got out of jail. Really? Tell me more. Um... He was in jail, and then he wasn't in jail. So why was he in jail in the first place? He broke somebody's camera, and now his new album's delayed or something. A new album? Do you think it'll be as good as his last album? No. Why are you pretending like you know what I'm talking about? I'm not pretending. Just having a conversation. Name one Kanye West song. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. What are some of your favorites? Dude, you're so fucking gay. Nicole, you know that word isn't welcome on this campus. I'm gay now. I can say it. The F word. But the homophobic one's fine then. Well, out of respect to Ari here, I wouldn't say that's fine either. Ari, how does that make you feel? Well, actually, I actually wanted to ask something. When you said we mistook you for an abuser. Yes, go on. Like, how? You you weren't violent or anything. I don't get it. Abuse can come in many forms. Not just violence or physical assault. It could be psychological, emotional, financial, anything that asserts control over another person. Like how you want to molest kids? I think they call it sexual abuse. Nicole, what did I say? Something about fucking kids? That's it! This session is over! I'm sorry, but you'll both have to come back at a later time when you learn how to behave yourselves. But I didn't- Out! Finally, fuck. He's like the guy in every sitcom's pedophile episode. Every sitcom has a pedophile episode? Yeah, where the kids learn a lesson or whatever. Oh, yeah. Nicole? What? Could I ask you something? No, sorry, I don't have any more kisses today. The kiss factory's closed. Somebody died. No, it wasn't about that. It was, uh... Why are you dating me? Why am I dating you? Why am I doing anything? I don't know. It's just, I was thinking about what the counselor said in there. Dude, your shirt isn't see-through. He's just a pervert. Well, no, that's a way bigger problem, but I'm just talking about us right now. What about us? I'm just thinking, like, what we've been for the last couple weeks. You mean awesome? Maybe awesome for you, which is good, but what he said about how abuse works, it kind of made me worried. So I'm abusing you? Uh, I don't know. If you do, I don't think you mean to. When have I ever hit you or anything? You haven't, but the emotional abuse and how it controls... You're really putting weight into what the fuck he says? He's a counselor. He knows about this stuff. I'm your girlfriend. I pay for your five guys. He wants to put his dick in a child. How am I getting outclassed here? No, I always have to pay when we go to five guys. Okay, well, your dad drives a Lexus. Don't worry about it. But I'm just saying, like, how are you going to let our freak fucking counselor put all these ideas in your head? Nicole, I've had these ideas for a while. All he did was give me the words to tell you. Tell me what? I don't think we should see each other anymore. So I'm losing my girlfriend because of the pedophile counselor? I'm sorry, Nicole. I got dumped before the counselor got reported. Well, I'm going to go home and kill myself.
Is dust off the same high as whippets? I never tried dust off. Really? Why is that surprising? You've tried everything else when a guy offers. Why would I flirt with a guy to get a free hit of dust off? You can get the whole thing at a store for like three dollars. Only three dollars? Yeah, have you ever gone to a Staples? Oh, Staples? What, are you too high school musical to walk into a Staples now? No, every time I go in the one near school, the manager always flirts with me. He's like, let's find you a new computer, sweetie. What if he just wants to sell you a new computer? With his hand on my ass? Okay, a little late on that detail. You don't complain when the guy at Paxson does it. Because the guy at Paxson can get me something I actually want? I'm not going to make out with a manager for a free pencil case. Are you saying you made out with the guy at Paxson? You're gay, right? Don't ask, don't tell, bitch. Not gay anymore. Oh my god, I forgot. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. No, it's okay. I'm over it. Are you sure? Didn't you, like, try killing yourself over it? Honestly, not really. Like, I got in the tub, caught a little, then the water was really nice and warm, and... I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I get that. Oh shit, she's coming over here. What? Why? Hey, Nicole. Hi. I just wanted to talk a little again, see how you were doing. You haven't showed up to the group depression counseling in a while. Yeah, I sort of quit that. I figured it would be awkward and everything. Kind of like this. Sorry, I know. I just worry a lot. Uh, are you trying to get back together again? I don't get it. Yeah, uh... That's not exactly an option for me anymore. Hey, Ari, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just wrapping up here. Who's this? Oh, yeah. Um, Nicole, this is my boyfriend, Hunter. We've been dating for a couple weeks now. Hey. What the fuck? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about Staples. The store? Long story. Ari, I gotta get back, but your tray is at the table for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Snookums. Who the fuck says Snookums? What was that? Oh, sorry. What I said was, I thought you were gay. Okay, I knew we'd have to talk about this eventually. Are you bisexual now? Honestly, no. What the fuck? Are you thinking about Staples again? No, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, how can you have a boyfriend if you're not bisexual? The truth is, I still love everything about girls. I love how they talk, how they laugh, how they use moisturizer, how they do makeup. I love how girls do their hair, how they smell nice, how they don't wear the same thing every day. And I really love how they hold your hand and how it feels when they kiss you back. Dating you helped me find the words for that, Nicole. Then you're dating a guy because... Because, like... Even though I feel that way, I have to be honest with myself. Girls are kind of high maintenance. Girls play mind games I can't figure out. And so the month we had together made me realize something else. Realize what? I realize that guys turn me off, but girls make me want to fucking kill myself. You bullied a gay girl into being straight. She's not straight now, she's just gonna be miserable for the rest of her life. Big difference. Are you seriously not getting how bad this is? How bad what is? You bullying a gay girl into being straight? I didn't bully her. I was just abusive while dating her. What's the difference? One's homophobic, the other's just regular bad. So you get how bad this is then? Bitch, you watch Smallville. Do you get how bad that is? That's not gonna work this time, Nicole. What the fuck is this? Why do you even care? Whatever. Whatever what? Are we not friends anymore? Well, I wouldn't want you as an enemy. Holy shit. No, explain to me how this is any more awful than anything I usually do. Because usually you do it to men? I'm like, was that overboard? And you always say he'll end up a rapist or pedophile anyway. But she's a teenage girl, Nicole. She is a gay, codependent teenage girl, as if it wasn't hard enough. What's your excuse this time? That bitch stole my depression idea. Fuck her. You should have said nothing. You ever feel guilty for just wondering if you should feel guilty? She poured her heart out again and again over how she felt about me, but it's like, isn't she better off? Like, I told her it's hot she cuts herself, and I wasn't lying, but am I really the one here? Going by Jekka's bitch morality, abusing her was a good thing. Figured it out sooner than later, right? But then you gotta ask, would you rather be alone or have a hot, twisted bitch who demeans you in public but gives amazing head? These are the real questions that plague society. I wonder if it's like that for the other physically bisexual, mentally gay girls. Talking with straight guys must be so fucking weird for them.
They're both worried about what girls are thinking. Both go into depressive fits when a girl won't text them back. They experience the same dating dynamics, and yet they will never bond over it. Because the guy will say, well, if you're sad and lonely, I'm here. And she'll go, I'm actually more gay than bi. And then he's like, all right, bitch, fuck you then. Guess you don't know how it feels. I'm not saying I've seen it, but it's totally possible. Did I have a moral with this? Fuck. <laughs>